focus uh, focus for me and Nelson continues to be the matters that we campaigned on in 2020 and um, uh, one of those is obviously the hospital so that remains a significant and important project for Nelson. I'm really happy with how it's tracking with the plans that the DHB are putting in place alongside the Ministry of Health and so you know, I anticipate that we'll get more information on that um, throughout the year so I'm uh, I'm really pleased with how that particular project is going we've got an aging population in Nelson a growing population and we know that the buildings are not fit for purpose they have come up in um, previous stock takes of hospital buildings across the country as being in some of the worst condition um, sitting on a fault line as well if we had a you know an eight-point earthquake um, if the trans um, alpine fault went um, we would be, uh, you know, facing a significant challenge with the use of those buildings. So uh, it's absolutely a number one priority for, for me, but also for the government. In terms of housing, um, there's still a, a lot of work to do, um, particularly to lift the numbers of public housing places available. Um, one of the things I'm really pleased about is about the work Nelson City Council have been doing to uh, release money from their uh, their housing fund that was put in place after the sale of the pension of flats. It was something that uh, I advocated for quite strongly and worked with um, worked with the councillors locally uh, to ensure that the money that was coming from that sale was actually going to be repurposed for housing. Um, I'm expecting that we'll see some um, movement soon from council, uh, particularly to support the likes of Nelson Tasman Housing Trust. The NU builds that that we saw open uh, at the end of last year have come about through um, support from central government alongside uh, philanthropic support and now they'll be in a position to build even more uh, with both the certainty of funding from central government uh, as well as support from Nelson City Council so I'm really excited about their plans to go from 50 to 100 homes. Um, we also need to ensure that our public housing stock, the numbers in our public housing stock keep lifting. We've um, got opportunities with Kainga Ora, we've re rebuilt capability into the regions and we've got opportunities there to actually increase the number of public housing places that we have and so I meet with Kainga Ora regularly and they're doing a very very good job um, of doing some plans and doing some due diligence on some opportunities that they have so I do expect we'll see some news from them throughout the year. We've got good transitional housing and good emergency housing um, options in place but what happens is some people get stuck there and they end up spending longer than they need to in, in those places and so what we're looking to do is continue to increase the number of social housing places we have through Kainga Ora and the likes of Nelson Tasman Housing Trust so that someone who's in transitional housing can be moved you know into something more permanent um, so that's a big piece of work the other is absolutely for first-time buyers and so through the government's um, RM reform, so uh, Resource Management Act reform, uh, through investment in the Infrastructure Acceleration Fund. Um, we are continuing to work to bring on um, you know, more, more houses and so it's about increasing supply but it's the right kind of supply. Um, and so we've got lots of supply coming on stream in parts of the region. Um, I'd like to see more in the Nelson City part. I think Nelson City Council probably do need to do more work to make it easier for developers to build. There's a lot to do. Um, it's certainly challenging and certainly, um, you know, COVID has made some of those uh, pieces of work more challenging, but uh, we just have to keep on, keep on doing the work. It's really important for Nelson.